I'm Peter Block from New York. This is my mom. Hi. And we're here, uh, I came from New York to Dr. Bertignoli for surgery on my neck for cervical. Uh, and I just want to tell about my experience. I can't rave about it enough. Uh, I, you know, I was so worried about it being so, so painful and, and uh, from the time after the surgery, there was almost zero pain. Uh, for five years, I've been suffering using heavy pain medicine and going to multiple different surgeries to try to end the nightmare. And uh, it took me a long time to study who was the best for artificial disc. I did not want a fusion. And I waited a long time and found that Dr. Bertignoli was by far uh, the just the, the actual physical amount of surgeries he's done, almost 4,000 from what I understand. Nobody comes close in the world. So it's you, you have this feeling of comfort that you're going to the best in the world and you're getting the experience. Anybody else I had tried to go see had done a few hundred, and uh, so, so that just felt so great. Um, from the moment after the surgery, I had pain down my arm, into my fingers, my fingertips were numb, uh, I was living in chronic pain, and basically given up. And I cannot believe how incredible the result is and how smooth it went uh, in terms of that after the surgery, you say to yourself, I can't believe they did what they did. Uh, I saw pictures of it and, and there's the two artificial discs in there. Mine was two level, C5, C6. And uh, again, no pain. And from the second the surgery was over, I've had and continue to have no pain. Uh, I just wanted to add to what Peter said that uh, as the mother, I did not do the research at all, but uh, I was concerned about going to a foreign country and uh, the language issues and the logistic issues, and that is nothing to be worried about. It was all taken care of. The, uh, they have people to handle everything. A lot of people speak English, and I wouldn't let that be any kind of a concern to anybody considering uh, or thinking about coming to, uh, to Dr. Bertinoli. Uh, 